This is L.A. Powers with 410 TV, and who do we have here? My name is Patrick Shipp from Memphis, Tennessee. Patrick from Memphis, Tennessee. How long have you been in line dancing? Oh, my goodness. I have to think back on it. I started in Atlanta with uh, Bam Bam um, back in, I think it was in 2000. I think about 2010, I started with her and danced with her for about a year. And then I went from uh, her group uh, to Southside Steppers in Atlanta. And I danced about a, two years with them. And then I moved to Chicago. And then I started dancing with Val Wilhoy. I danced with her for about two years or so. And uh, then I moved back home to oh. Memphis. And then I started my own class there in Memphis. Okay, yeah. and what's the name of your class in Memphis? Okay, so we named ourselves Hashtag Memphis. Oh. Yes, uh -huh, yes. How cool, yes. so you can't miss, right? Yeah, you can't miss us, right? <laughs> <laughs> That is right. great. Yes. Now, what do you do outside of line dancing? So, I'm actually a professor at a university uh, outside of Memphis, uh, Arkansas State University. I teach mathematics, and and I didn't realize how math and line dancing actually go hand in hand. Exactly. Yeah, and, and I was a kind of an instinctual kind of a dancer. I just danced based upon what I felt. And then when I started teaching, I realized that not all learners could learn based upon what they felt. And I started right. to have to count. And, and of course, Lori Brown said, Patrick, Ah, you're a professor, you should know about all people. And so I said, okay, show me how to do this counting stuff. She just started with black lipstick. Right. And she started counting through I said, oh my God. I said, yeah, yeah, I should be counting. And so every dance I do now, I count. Right. And I'm learning more dances dances because I count. Excellent. So the more you know you count, the more dances you can learn. Oh, yes. Wow. That is fascinating. Yes. Now how many uh, students are there in your class here? Okay, so right now I have a core group of students that are in an accelerated class. I have about six of those mm -hmm. right now, and they're my core members. Right. Okay, I'm starting a beginner's class uh, this uh, February, and I have about 45 members in that class. And they saw some YouTube videos on Facebook, right. and uh, they saw some of us dancing out at um, places around Memphis, and it instantaneously says, I want to join up. And so, yes, and, and over like about a two-day period, I had a list of about 45 people that are, willing, that, that are willing to pay their fees up front for just six weeks. Oh, my God. Just six weeks. Yes. Really? Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. They want T-shirts. They want everything that we do in my games. They want everything. Oh, so, with, yeah. with hashtag Memphis, Hashtag right? Memphis, yes. That yes. is fascinating. Yes. Yes. Now, this this was a recent occurrence? So, yes, this was, matter of fact, just in the last two weeks that, you know, they signed up. So, they're going to pay their fees online before class even starts. T-shirts, they get T-shirts and everything. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So, I, yeah, it's unbelievable to me, too. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, after the six weeks, is there an option to continue yes, on? Yes, of course. Of course, and that's what they want to do. They can't, I think the people in Memphis didn't really realize what was going on with line dancing. Right. And so um, when they saw us dancing in different places around Memphis, which they were not aware of, especially those that like to dance, they immediately wanted to connect with it. So I'm so excited. That yes, is, that is the best so, story I've heard. Like <laughs> since I've been here, that is I fabulous. Am so excited, I can tell you, I, because the reason I did, I want people to dance around me that like to dance. It's nothing like being in a good environment and, and vibing with right. people that like to dance. Exactly. It makes you want to dance even more. Right. So, I, and that's how much I love to dance. So, yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. So, um, now. Is your whole family here, or is it just you uh, uh, yeah. in Memphis, that is? Oh, yeah, my, I'm actually originally from Memphis. Oh, so, that's yes, right. uh, Even though I traveled around, I was actually in school working on degrees when I went to Atlanta in Chicago. And so once I, actually, the year I graduated, my father passed, and I had to move back uh, to Memphis to take care of things. Right. And I actually didn't intend to stay. Right. And um, because, of course, it's Chicago and Atlanta. And, you know, Memphis, I moved away. Yes. But, um, <laughs> you know, I got older, and I realize, you know, yeah. it's time to kind of settle in. Okay. So, and I just decided to stay at home. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, have you created dances yourself? You know, you asked me fantastic questions because we just created our first dance right oh. before New Year's. Really? Yes, and it's called Memphis Crushing on Jersey. Oh, uh, wow. yes. And it is, I mean, when we posted the dance, I think we had about oh, about 90 likes and love 
-hmm. up for the dance yeah. and people are waiting on an instructional for the dance. Uh -huh. So it is a, a really nice dance that really came out, of, out for me. Um, kept that intuition when mm -hmm. I heard the song mm -hmm. by Sierra. I said, I'm gonna put a dance to that. And, and I, I did and I took it to my, my accelerated class. I said, okay, I got some, some steps to this song. I said, tell me what do y'all think? And they were like, Patrick, you you did something right there. And I said, I said, there's some problems though, can we fix it? And they helped me to get to different walls and whatnot. And we put the dance together. So yeah, the dance is called Memphis Crushing on Jersey. And what's, what's the music? It's Sierra, by, but the song is Crush. Crush. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. C-R-U-S-H. Okay. Yes, very nice dance. Okay. Yes. So it's, gonna, it's on Facebook. It's on Facebook right now. So I'm going to do an instructional because some people say they would like to have an instructional. Right. That that was my next question. So when will the instructional be out? <laughs> so the instructional must be out in February because I'm getting a whole lot of requests for it. Yeah. yeah so yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be looking for that. Now, if they want to get in contact with you and your group, how do they do that? Okay. Well, my phone number is 901 area code 679-4633. Okay, and my email address is pkship, S-H-I-P-P, -P, at yahoo.com. And also, I'm on Facebook under Patrick Ship. Okay, and do you have a website yet? No, we don't have that just yet. Okay, you working on that? Uh, yeah, I'd like to. I think I'm going to get some of my members and just kind of give them some ownership of what's going on. And, right. and they love to take things like that and just run with it. So, exactly. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, great. Well, what is it that you would like to share with your line dancing community about you or your philosophy or anything you'd like to share that they wouldn't necessarily know um and that's about me mm -hmm. um i of course love to line dance um i love learning you will always see me on the dance floor trying to pick up a dance sometimes i do very well in picking up some dances sometimes i own it but regardless, you're going to always see me on the dance floor trying to learn to dance and take back to my students. Always. Okay, All right. Great. Well, listen, that's everything we have here at 410 Line Dance. And have a good one. Right. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Yes. So yeah. I mean, you asked the right questions because all the things you asked, they just happened. Really? Yes. That's, I mean, that is just so fascinating that in the last two weeks, all of this is happened. just like look. It just blew exploded. up. It went from my core class, my accelerated class, which I only had that one class, mm -hmm. and I put our dances out on you know dances that we do around the city, mm -hmm. and I put it on Facebook, and people and I made it public. And a couple of people said, oh, I, my friend said, I like that. Of course, then their friends saw what they said. And they were like, well, you know we dance. We all go into his class. Like, I'm bringing three people. I'm going to bring my Oh, my Ooh. God. Oh, yeah. It's like, we didn't even know this existed. That, see, they that's, didn't even just know. It. that's just it. This, this whole world is out here and not that many people know. But I, this is another thing that we kind of observe. If you remember back in the 70s, when people in the 70s, they danced. Right. There was a lot of dancing and we yeah. were really healthy as a people. Yes. And somehow in the 80s, we, the music changed. Yeah. And we got away from dancing and we got away from our this spirit. I think you're absolutely, I never even thought of that. Away, but, and I stopped dancing too because I used to dance as a kid. Yeah. And I stopped dancing, I got into my books and, and I just suppressed it. And then all of a sudden I went to Atlanta and I saw people dance like, oh, people are still dancing. Yeah. And I just went and started dancing. And all of a sudden I just fell back in love with dancing. That is the coolest. And, the, and I think as people, we have to get back in touch with what God has put in us. Yes. And dancing is the way that we communicate with one another as yes. people. That, that and sometimes verbiage is not us. Sometimes it's just that spirit. Exactly. Yeah. And then exactly. you see that spirit on the floor, you go like, mm. yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. Because I was checking it out last night. I said, well, I've been out of dancing because of my back for months, and so I'm just now getting back in. So I'm like, oh, I want to do that so bad, you know, just sitting there. Yeah. And I think that's the, one, another thing. That's the only time as people that we are giving other and I know. Give me something on that. Give me something on that. Because you're absolutely right. We, we get, look, and we give each other permission. Oh, you, okay. 
Yeah. And no, no problem. Exactly. And you never hear us go back to the mom and say, she stepped on Exactly. You never think twice about Exactly. It. Oh my gosh, yes. you are so observant. Yes. Because as you're saying this, and I'm saying, he's absolutely right. right. And I think this is where we need to be. As a, we need to, be, yes. even our curriculums in school, we need to be this kind of base. Yes. Where we're doing something with our new movement. Yes. You know, in the classroom. Yeah. So. You are very astute. Yeah. I am so impressed. Great pleasure to be interviewed by you. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, yes. sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. You are good. You are good. I have met some of the coolest people. Yes. I mean. You're great. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.